everybody, it's Harry from Seven Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. Regardless of whether your favorite football team in Super Bowl 2019 or not, that shouldn't stop you or your family from enjoying the game on Sunday, especially since I'm going to be showing you my junkyard burger challenge between lamb burgers for the Rams and lobster burgers for the Patriots. So you don't want to miss my crazy junkyard burger episode featuring live lobster. All right, uh, what's the proper way to dispatch of uh, live lobsters? These guys are live and uh, these are main lobsters that I bought from the store. They are about approximately just over a pound each. And uh, the most humane method actually is to refrigerate them and then uh, dispatch them with a sharp uh, knife. I have my little samurai sword here, a little karitsuke. We'll show you guys the most humane way to dispatch of them. So first thing we want to do is we want to put them in the refrigerator to get, uh, get them, put them to a little hibernation state here put them in the refrigerator like so okay you need about five minutes in the refrigerator for them to kind of get into a hibernative state and then we'll dispatch them in a humane manner so while the lobsters are resting in, in the freezer let's go ahead and prepare the uh, burger patty we want to take some of this uh, lamb ground lamb I'm gonna teach you guys a technique uh, using something called a panade or panade which is basically a little bit of white bread mixed with some uh, milk or liquid to create kind of a soft, mushy uh, little stuffing that we can mix with the lamb so that the lamb will stay juicy, moist, and tender during the cooking process. Trim some white, white bread here. I wanted a crazy, messy football burger, so I talked to my uh, YouTube uh, buddy and expert, uh, Greg from Ballistic Barbecue, and uh, he gave me some of his ideas for a junkyard burger. He has a uh, wonderful junkyard burger recipe that uh, has a lot of views on his channel so he gave me a few ideas i also uh, drew some ideas also and was inspired by kim and craig's extreme junkyard barbecue restaurant uh, in oregon that was featured in the uh, guy guy fieri's triple d episode and i'll leave the links to those uh, folks uh, websites in the description so you can t check it out so what's a junkyard style burger it's simple you pile on all your favorite foods and crazy sauces on your burger, meat or seafood, on a bun that you like. So I have my panad here, which is basically a kind of a mixture of uh, bread and milk. Uh, and the ratio of the panad to the uh, burger is approximately four to one or five to one. And that will give it a nice kind of texture to the burger if the burger isn't fatty enough. Let's add some seasoning now. I'm gonna add a little bit of a uh, slappy daddy all purpose rub to it. And then a little bit of garlic, one teaspoon of garlic. A little bit of uh, fresh uh, rosemary also here okay ready to go so here's how you handle lobsters humanely you put them in the uh, freezer for about five minutes until they basically kind of stop moving and then you can see here there's a line right here where this little seam is what you do is you drive a sharp knife right in there it kills them instantly so this is the most humane way to dispatch a lobster i have a karitsuke knife here and you notice i've done it on a thick towel so it doesn't move around, so that instantly kills the lobster. All right, now we clean the lobster. We're gonna remove some of the uh, intestinal tract here. And we're gonna parboil the lobster and uh, we're going to then debone it. Same as before. We'll blanch the lobster in hot water to loosen up the meat so we can remove it more easily. And uh, just a few minutes to just loosen up the meat. Blanch it for a few minutes until it turns pink and then we can remove the meat easily. I like bacon on my junkyard burgers. So I'm gonna add some applewood smoked bacon. We're kind of gently warming them up now in a medium pan so that the bacon doesn't get too curly. We'll get it to a point where it's nice and crispy so we can top the burger with bacon. Lobster has been poached for a few minutes and loosened up the meat, so we're gonna go ahead and take the meat out now to make the burgers themselves. We don't waste this. We are gonna basically remove the meat from the shell, save the liquid, and then boil some lobster stock with the water and then concentrate it. And you can use the stock to make a bisque or a clam chowder, or you can go ahead and boil it down so it's concentrated, put it in a tub and put it in the freezer. It'll last for a few months. So there you have it. I'll show you guys what to do now with getting the meat out of the uh, claw itself here 
All you need to do is to rest it on a uh, surface with a little bit of a paper or fabric or towel. You run your knife like this and you just crack it like so and it breaks apart the shell and you can extract the meat this way. Just like that. And the shells are good for stock, so don't, don't throw them away yet. Let's make some crazy junkyard style sauces for the lamb burger and the lobster burger. Let's do the um, lobster burger first. Uh, I like a simple jalapeno, like a jalapeno tartar sauce. So I'm cutting out a uh, jalapeno here. Don't need a lot, just uh, maybe about maybe a, a teaspoon of jal a chopped jalapeno. The crunch. Alright, we'll get some cornichon with the little pickled gherkins here. The best food mayo, maybe two tablespoons. Now to make the uh, junkyard sauce for the lamb burger, I'm going to make kind of a little bit of a uh, sauce inspired by uh, the uh, barbecue cult uh, place here in Los Angeles called uh, in and out Burger. We start a little bit of ketchup here, barbecue sauce, maybe about half part of barbecue sauce. California hot sauce du jour, which is uh, some sriracha. I also like a brand of hot sauce called uh, Red Rooster. This is what I use also for competition. Only 99 cents at Food for Less. It's kind of a little bit like a Thousand Island dressing or one of those burger spreads that uh, is uh, very popular in and out. Let's chop up some bacon now to make the uh, fried crunchy bacon cheese pizza. Let's go ahead and make a uh, bacon topped uh, cheese pizza. You start off with a little bit of uh, Parmesan cheese on it, grated, grated cheese, whatever cheese blend you like. I'm adding a little bit of uh, like cave aged Gruyere. So this is sort of like a cheese pizza, but uh, the, there's no crust, the crust is cheese. We're going to use it as kind of a replacement of the cheese slice on our burger. I want to show you a tip whenever you're making a new burger or a new recipe or a uh, meat that you're not so familiar with or have tried before. Always make yourself a little mini burger patty. That way you can adjust the seasonings, get a kind of a pre-taste before you make the burgers. This is especially true if you're holding a party and you're cooking a bunch of burgers for a party. You don't want to go into the burger party with something like a lamb burger where you've not actually tasted the seasonings you've used on the lamb, the herbs. You want to make sure that you get the recipe right and a simple way of doing that is just to cook a little uh, patty of it. A little taste test so you can adjust final seasonings before you make uh, you know the patties for your party. We're ready to make our lamb burger patties now and this is about a six ounce uh, ball. I have it on a piece of uh, parchment paper. You want to push it together, put another piece of parchment paper on top and then get a nice plate like this. Just press down. Ready to go. I went to school in Texas Tech and uh, beef sausage, uh, Texas style, has always been part of my uh, favorite uh, way to enjoy hot dogs or bratwurst or sausage links or hot links. So I'm going to put some of my favorite Southside Market beef sausage. We're going to grill it a little bit and then uh, get it into a uh, kind of like a half sausage and put it onto the burger. I'm going to cover some aged uh, Gruyere cheese. It's a very strong cheese, so just a tiny little thin slice is good. Okay, there you have it. And you don't use the rind, so I'm going to trim the rind off here. We're getting ready to cook the uh, lamb burgers and the lobsters. And uh, you've seen me use these things called grill grates many times when I cook steak and cook on the grill. But uh, I'm not sure if you're aware, but uh, these uh, grill grates also work the other side as a griddle. So today I'm going to use them as a griddle to show you the versatility of the grill grates. So you flip it over and it makes a great griddle. Alright, my grill's at around 550 or so, ready to get started. What is very nice about the uh, grill grates is also when you use it upside down, the uh, oil will burn at the bottom but it will not flame your burgers. Alright, adding the cheese. Just how it cooked. Dip 
bit butter and just grill it for just a few minutes. A little bit of rosemary butter here. You want to be very careful not to overcook the lobster. Just a light touch of butter and grill is all you need. You get some uh, Gruyere cheese on it before we get it off. The buns of toast. Alright, buns are toasted, ready to go. Assembly time. Alright, let's assemble the burger. And uh, let's do the uh, lamb burger first. We'll get the uh, bottom of the bun here. It's like a nice one. It's very good. I'm gonna do it kind of uh, like uh, the uh, In N Out burger style. Start with this spicy barbecue. Mayo spread at the bottom. I have the uh, butter lettuce. Put the lamb patty on. Lamb patty with the cheese on top. I'm gonna put the uh, two cheeses here. Two layers of cheese. I like cheese. All right, we're gonna top it with an egg now. With a little runny yolk on top. Get some more bacon on it. Soft side sausage. All right, before I top it, I'm gonna add some of my favorite nacho cheese sauce. And uh, in LA, we like this one here. Put the topping on it. A bit of uh, spicy barbecue mayo. And there you have it. All right, so one down, let's plate it. Let's plate the uh, lobster burger. Homage to the Patriots. A little bit of homemade tartar sauce with jalapeno. Like a nice dollop of it. Get the uh, butter lettuce on it. Get the tomato. The Gruyere cheese. Let me drizzle some of that butter on it. So you notice that I have the uh, lettuce at the bottom, so when uh, the oil hits it, it's not gonna kinda make the bun soggy, which I don't like soggy buns. All right, we got that one going. Let's put the jalapeno crunchy one. Uh, I like avocado, so I'm gonna put some avocado here. All right, we can top it with the fried uh, bacon cheese pizza. So you can make a junkyard burger any way you like, Add anything you like, have fun. There's no right and there's no wrong. Sometimes uh, people like what you like and some people they don't. So don't worry about what people say, just do what you want. And that is fantastic masterpiece right here. All right, so here's the Patriots lobster burger, stacked high with a lobster and a whole bunch of other goodies. Let's inflate it now beside the Patriots burger. All right, burgers are ready, and uh, the one on the left is the lamb burger with a spicy barbecue mayo, tomato butter lettuce, a lamb patty, a fried egg, Southside beef sausage, and topped with Alveda cheese and spicy barbecue mayo. The Patriots have the lobster burger with jalapeno tartar, tomato, butter lettuce, grilled lobster with gooyer and butter, and uh, avocado with lime, and uh, we got a fried bacon cheese pizza on it, which is absolutely crunchy and fantastic with a jalapeno tartar sauce on top. So this uh, dish is ready. Now it's time, the fun time to give it a taste. Okay, now we have to eat the burger. Uh, okay, let's do the Rams burger first. Grab a big bite. That is a super fantastic combination of flavors. The lamb with the uh, melted yolk for the egg and then the uh, Texas sausage with the bacon. Absolutely delicious. The lamb uh, is perfectly cooked. Because of the panade we use, the lamb is nice and tender. Well, it's falling apart here. And uh, this lamb is not tough at all, even though it wasn't uh, high fat. The seasoning for the rosemary in there worked really well, and a little bit of garlic flavor. Bacon is always great with uh, burger. Spicy uh, barbecue mayo, and then that little cheese, quesadilla style of cheese on it. Absolutely fantastic. Let me go get cleaned up and then try to do give you an impression eating the other burger. Let's give the uh, lobster Patriots Junkyard Burger a shot here. So just to recap, just a lot of goodness. We have a butter lobster in there together with a uh, fried bacon cheese 
pizza on top. Give me a shot here. The first thing that hits you is that fantastic uh, grilled lobster flavor. You can taste the butter grilled lobster immediately. The uh, texture of the uh, crunchy fried bacon cheese pizza completely contrasts it together with the soft kind of a milky texture of the avocado. Uh, absolutely perfect tenderness and texture. Uh, the Gouya cheese adds a kind of a sharpness to the whole uh, burger. And then the bun and then the jalapeno tartar brings it all together. This is going to be a fantastic Super Bowl when I make this for my family and friends. I'm not sure they're going to be able to eat such a big burger, but maybe I can convert it to a slider. Simplify things a bit because uh, it's, then you see it's a huge mess with the um, queso cheese as well as the Velveeta, which is what I like. So I may have to kind of simplify the recipe a bit for my party, but I'm sure that, you know, if you try this recipe, you will blow everyone away. Thanks for joining me on my Super Bowl Junkyard Burger Challenge. The uh, lamb burger for the Rams and lobster burger for the Patriots. Lots of love from Harry from Los Angeles. Please like, subscribe and share. And until the next video, Okay, try lobster. Was it good? It was the Patriots burger. Try the lamb with the egg. See if you like it. So what do you think? The uh, Patriots or Rams? Who's going to win the Super Bowl? You know? Give me high five.